Hey everyone, Tech Adventure here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn off restrictions on Safari. So if you go try to access a website, for example, you might get this uh, restriction. For example, if I try to go here, you might see it's restricted and a lot of the sites are restricted. That's because there's a restriction setting that we need to turn off. So in order to do that, first thing you're going to want to do is go into your setting on your iPhone. So let's go into our settings. Now from the settings here, you're going to scroll down until you get screen time here. Now once you get to the screen time, you're going to scroll down to restrictions, where it says content and privacy restrictions, tap on that. And from there on, you're going to see App Store, Media, Web, and Games. Now right here is web content. As you can see here, you can restrict websites, right? When it's selected to either of these two options, only approved website or the, uh, this one, right? It's going to restrict your browsing. So you want to select unrestricted. Now it's going to ask you for the screen time password if you set one, which is going to be different, most likely from the passcode on the phone, if you set up a different one. So you want to go ahead and enter that and then make sure it's selected to it. Now if you forgot your screen time password, don't worry. Go back to the screen time setting here and then you can go ahead and change your screen time password or you can turn it off. When you change it, you can use your Apple ID if you use your Apple ID to make that password. So if you see, if I turn it off, it's going to ask me if I get it wrong, I can go ahead and change it or just turn it off. And then one other thing you can also do is completely turn this off if you're finding that it's causing issues with restrictions. And after you do that, you'll be able to go ahead and you can see or navigate to any website without that restriction. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. See you guys next time.